Hello, my little angels. It's Miss Nancy spending our special time together. Do you know what this is? Let's see if I can get it close enough for you. Sure you do. It's a TV remote, isn't it? And a remote control. So here you can turn the power on and off. You can change the channel with this one and you can adjust the volume. I have another one to show you. This is called a universal remote. Do you have one of these? This one can control, I don't know if you can see if it's close enough, a DVD player, Roku, we have Roku, and cable in addition to the TV. That's amazing, isn't it? You know, when Miss Nancy was a little girl, we had to get up and turn the channels on the TV. We didn't have remotes. So today, our Bible lesson is about how Jesus showed his amazing control of everything around him. It was the Sabbath day. That's what they called it in Jesus' time. And Jesus went to the synagogue to, and began to teach. Do you remember that Jesus is Jewish? And his, so his church was called a synagogue. A man in the synagogue had an evil spirit in him. That's like somebody having a throwing a fit. That's what it looked like. And when Jesus went near him, the man cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. Jesus said, be quiet. Then he spoke to the evil spirit. He said, come out. Do you know what happened? The evil spirit did exactly what Jesus commanded. It came out of the man. The people there were really amazed. They looked at one another and asked, what is going on here? Even evil spirits obey his orders. There was power in the words that Jesus spoke that day. On that day, Jesus came in and took control of the man's life. That man was better from that point on. No more evil spirit. You know, Jesus wants to be in control of our life too, yours and mine. He wants to be in control of the plans you make, the words you say, the things you do, and the places you go. Why? Why do you think Jesus wants us to, or he wants to be controlled? Because he wants what's best for you and me. The Bible tells us that God has a plan for us. It is a good plan that will give us hope and a good future, a good life if we let Jesus control. But we will never see his plan work unless we allow Jesus to be in control. Let us pray together. Dear God, we want Jesus to be in control of our life. We know he wants what is best for us, and that is what we want too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.